Know that within 2017 and 2022, about 100,000 Nigerians relocated to the UK. In fact, it is said that out of every 10 Africans, seven were, were agreed that if opportune, they are ready to relocate to, uh, abroad with their family. With this, I welcome you to another edition of Literature and the Arts. Today, we'll continue from where we stopped last week talking about the concept of migration, which is uh, colloquially referred to as Japa. Today, we'll be I will be listing 10 African novels that deals with the subject of migration. You know, you cannot dissociate literature from the society. And that's why it is said that literature is the mirror of life. Today we'll be discussing, we'll be listing these novels that deals that deal with migration. Number one on the list is Second Class Citizen by a uh, Nigerian-born British writer Buchi Emejeta in 1974. The second is The Beautiful Things That Heaven Bears by Utopian writer Dino Mengisto in 2007. Seasons of Migration to the North by uh, Sudanese writer Taib Salim in 1966. The fourth one, the fourth African novel, is Better Never Than Late by Nigerian novelist Chika Onobu in the year 2020. We Need New Names by Noviolet Bulawai, uh, a Zimbabwean writer. The novel was published in 2013. Americana by Nigerian writer Chimamanda Adichie. The novel was published in 2013. Becoming Abigail by Chris Abani in 2006. Also, A Life Elsewhere by Shegun Apolabi in the year 2006. Another fantastic novel on migration is On Black Sister Street, still by Chika Onogui the year 2007 and lastly the consequences of law by Eritrean writer Solomon uh, Solomon Adonia in the year 2008 these novels uh, gives pictures of uh, and experiences depict experiences of migration from Africa to Europe and to the Middle East Picking just two out of these novels to analyze. The first, the second class citizen, like I said, was published, uh, was written by Buji Emejeta and published in the year 1974. This, novels, this novel chronicles the experience of migration in the early uh, days of Nigeria, uh, of Africa's in, uh, independence from colonialism. You know, the, the, the first depiction of migration that is witnessed in that novel is a man named Loya Mwezi who is returning from the UK where he goes to study law. He returns home welcomed from the airport by the jubilant people of Ibuza community because you know going to the UK then was like going to heaven and coming back because uh, it's like going to see God and then you have suddenly come back. He is welcomed with pomps and pigeons is welcomed with dance, celebration, and so on like that. Because there were not too many educated people at that time. So the little ones, the few who were educated, were celebrated. So in returning home, they felt he was going to be the defender of the, of the Ibuza community in the political sphere. Remember in the last edition, we said the Africans who traveled abroad in during those times usually come back home to, uh, to come and fill up vacant political positions in the country. So they felt that Loyang Wizi was going to return and be their voice in the political space of the young Nigerian. However, the coming of Loyang Wizi inspires a young girl named uh, uh, Ada. Ada decides that because she also wants to go to the UK and uh, go there to study so that she will experience the same celebration that Loyang Wizi receives. She gets married and then she and her husband relocate to the UK. But like every other African uh, novel that deals with migration, it, the novel reveals the complexities that is associated with Africans traveling to Europe. 
Of course, every African believes that traveling abroad is traveling to a land filled, filled with milk and honey. As if getting to the UK or any part of Europe, you just simply pick dollars and pounds sterling on the ground. But unfortunately, the, ex uh, the experiences of many Afghans in the UK, as depicted by many of the novels I have listed, is always an iron experience. You know, one of the challenges is the issue of trying to, to conform to a new culture, a new experience, a new life altogether is always a very tiring experience, especially in uh, societies where racism still prevails. As we see in second class citizen, we saw that that's why the title is called second class citizen. Ada and Francis, despite the fact that the, 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 the wealth, the abundance that they felt that traveling abroad will offer them, they couldn't get it there. And as a result of that, trying to uh, meddle between being an African and adapting to the new culture had a great impact on their home. I would like you to study many of these novels. They are very fantastic novels on migration. Uh, till we meet again next time, give yourself to reading because it's the way to enlightenment. Thank you and God bless.